guys today we have a uh, mainstay small tower fan ventilator detourer the 71 centimeters i can't show you guys the other side of the box because there's a uh, information there but i'm going to take the camera off the table in a second so i can show you but we're going to go ahead and talk about why i have this fan found this bad boy on ebay for uh 13 dollars 13 dollars for something that usually costs uh costs like 30 dollars 31 so it was just such a good it was such a good deal i had to get it and plus it was another excuse to buy another fan so here we go all right <laughs> We're gonna be stuck on the, uh, actually, no, we won't. Let's turn it around. Tower, slim tower design, takes up less floor space than pedestal fans and delivers quite efficient cooling. I don't know. Cancer and reproductive harm. From what? Hopefully, it's not the plastic. I'm hoping it's just the uh, soldering in the motor. Cancer and reproductive harm. It doesn't tell me what the problem is. P65 warnings. Well, I really doubt this thing's any warnings unless you're eating the motor. Yep, made in the China. Three speeds, safe space saving slim design, built and handle, copper wound motor. I don't know, there's probably some lead in the motor or in the control panel. I think it would be okay. No tools that require. One year limited warranty, which is probably already burnt. All right, let's. Yeah, let's get this uh, unboxing us. Oh great, of course this is the one time I don't have a, an opener. Alright, let's see what we got. Okay, let's do unbox it. Tamper evident tape here. And then if the fan turns out good, I'm going to give the seller a uh, good review. If it doesn't turn out good, then well, you'll have an epic fan fail. And I'll go into it and get a review. Another video. This is thirteen dollars with free shipping too, so it was just such a good deal. And you get a manual fan out of it. I have to go this way. Yikes! All right, so that's gone. It's looking pretty promising. Cardboard. Wow! I think we just got something good. All right. The base is, of course, for some reason, not put together. This part of cancer is probably in this plastic. And a uh, thank you note for your purchase. Dear valued customer, I know you guys don't value me, and I don't want to hurt me these days. If you value me, maybe this thing would be have, maybe this thing won't be made in China. All right. I'm about to move this camera down. All right, let's go ahead and assemble this fan. Alright, I'm going to read some of their warnings in here, see if it's anything important. Please keep plastic bag well over for use of children. Alright, well, we don't have any of those here, so that'll be good. Uh, yeah, I bet you it just, that it's just lead and it's in the soldering inside the circuit control on the, uh, on the dial up here, so I think we're going to be fine. Let's take a look at the informations. Tower fan. Here, I'm going to bring the camera closer to you so you guys can read it. Let's see. Tower fan ventilator detourer. Dermally protected. Made in China. Great. <laughs> I would be surprised if I can get a couple of years out of this fan without a capacitor going out or something. I think this thing may have a shade of pole motor in it, so that would be interesting. We have lots of plastic. That's probably why I gave you the freaking harm stuff. There. Take that off. I need all that plastic off. I do not want that plastic. Come on. Off we go. Come on. Alright, looks like we're going to have to wait later because I'm not going to waste a video on this. Fortunately, I ran out of this storage, but... Found this, stop. In the unlikely, unlikely event that you have encountered a problem or question about your unit, please contact Maystein's customer support. Let's go ahead and draw it as far away as possible because if it, if it doesn't work, it's going to get destroyed. All right. There we go. So, all right, I really, this goes in the back because the core goes off. So, let me just go ahead and assemble this base. 
they could just probably slip in the box or spent a couple more cents of cardboard, but nope. You gotta save the, the planet one piece of plastic at a time. All right, so this should just pop in the base. So I've assembled tar fans before. Oh, it's a screw. Oh, I bet you I didn't do it right. Hang on. Yeah, I didn't do this right. Yeah. Usually, this is how you assemble the pedestal fans. Good. All right, I think we're the good. All right, let's go ahead and pop the screw on. You know, actually, the quality of this plastic is better than the last go. I haven't seen any bent and destroyed pieces yet, which is good. Especially after. Come on. I think that's good. Wow, this is so tiny. This is cute looking. Oh, man. All right, let's go take another look at this fan. That is so small. I can only really see this being good for like the office at your at your uh, office or something. All right, let's make sure the controls are off and plug it in. All right. Oh, we have a fuse to plug. That's actually pretty good, so it doesn't really explode. All right, here is the fan. It doesn't look too bad. The best part about it is that it does not have the digital controls. All right, let's go ahead and take the camera off and see. Oscillation. All right, well, I have not turned on the fan. It's not sick leading anyway. <laughs> wow. Well, that just shows you the China. All right. Let's see. There's our turbine. All right, let's. Uh, that's enough talking. Let's just power on the fan. Uh, since I think this is a shade of pole, we're just gonna go ahead and start off on the pie saying. All right, we got some air. You can see, I didn't use all of that, but I'm still getting some air out there though, so that's not bad. I'm gonna give this a little bit time to run on the high. But it's actually, for, for $13, the air movement, down here is like super cold right now. But, oh. It's very quiet. Very quiet, so that's pretty good. You know, I'm gonna actually say the airflow for a tiny little tar fan is not bad at all. Oh, never mind. This is a full switch fluctuation. I'm gonna still let it run high for a little bit just in case it has a, a shea pole motor in there. All right, we have some, wow. And we're having some really bad um, voltage fluctuations. So we're gonna run this test again later once the power grid gets back to normal. Uh, all right. Very quiet. Air movement's not bad, this could cool you off. Yeah, we're gonna let it run for a little bit to get the China smell out of it, and then we'll install it somewhere. Honestly, not as bad as I thought. Let's turn it on to two. Almost inaudible. Or, or my, the voltage has to be less than 110, because this is really bad. <laughs> Still moving some air, let's do one. One's barely moving nothing. Don't worry, we're gonna do another test on the voltage which comes better. It's still moving something, I guess this would be good for like a, this could be good on top of that table. Let's put it up there actually. Let's see, cause no one said you can't use it on the table. It's actually not too bad on the table. Very quiet, let's turn it back to the high. It is very quiet, that's actually impressive. You can see you have a blower wheel design, which makes it look really weird, but all right. If it works, it works. All right, I'm gonna go check the voltage out to see if I can get anything else out of this, because I believe we should get more out of it.
All right, the voltage is low, so we're gonna wait a little bit for the voltage to get back up, and we're gonna continue the video from there. I think the voltage has returned to normal. Oh, come on, the stupid. All right, this may have to wait for another day because this voltage is, is really bad. So we're gonna have to unfortunately make a part two, which I hate part twos, and I know you guys hate part twos too, but for some reason, the voltage is just extremely unstable today. So, yep. This, we're going to have to wait till part two. This, this fan is probably going to be moved somewhere else temporarily. And, well, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Sorry for part two, but it is what it is. Man, this guy going to do power grid. See you guys later.